Sports Desk. This is First Coast News Sports. Hello, everybody. If you like me, you've got so many thoughts, feelings, and opinions about our Jacksonville Jaguars 0-2 start, and tonight is the perfect night for Speak On It. It appears that the Jaguars, at least offensively, still have some issues. Case in point, it was not until very late in the third quarter, basically the fourth, that the offense found some life and made Sunday's game against the Cleveland Browns competitive. And honestly, the Browns did all they could to help the Jags win. Down 16-3, Trevor Lawrence hooked up with Brian Thomas Jr. for this 67-yard pass, one that instantly injected life into the offense. The question is, why aren't they getting Thomas the ball early and often? This play set up the Jaguars' first touchdown of the game, a Travis Etienne four-yard touchdown run. But wait. How is it that Trevor Lawrence, who is in his third year in Doug Peterson's system, has so many weapons and the passing game is struggling mightily through the first two weeks of the season? We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be playing the way we're, we're playing. Uh, we shouldn't be coaching the way we're coaching. So I, I take accountability, you know, there. It starts with me. I mean, we suck right now, so I don't, uh, I'm pretty shocked. But should they be shocked? The day the Jaguars renamed the stadium Trevor Bank, our $275 million man, threw for just 16 passing yards in the first half, which wrapped up four straight quarters dating back to last week in which the Jazz could not get anything going through the air. And let's talk about Trevor's performance in the clutch. With a minute and 42 seconds left in the game Sunday and down by three, Trevor was sacked by Alex Wright for a safety. Trevor, there's no way you can let this happen. Just hold on to it for a tick too long, trying to wait on it to develop downfield. Bad play by me, you know. Yeah, it just can't happen whether, you know, just live to find another down. Hmm, but it did happen. And should we be surprised? Week one, the game was tied late in the fourth quarter against Miami. Trevor got sacked not once, but twice during the critical moments of the game. And let's just keep it 100. Elite quarterbacks, $55 million per year QBs, cannot allow this to happen. You made a mistake and you don't like people calling it out and talking about it, you need to find a different job because this isn't, this isn't the one. You know, Everyone had a play today, at least one, that they can do their job a lot better. And all those plays add up and they affect the game and you end up losing. Trevor, I respect you taking accountability, but it's time to win starting next week.